So I'm with Karitana Sap, and we are chilling in my space. We're having an art sale today. And yeah, she's an incredible artist and poet and mom and all that stuff. And we're just talking about things that inspire us. So what most inspires you? Oh, dear. Um, I don't have one thing that inspire me. Um, I, I, I'm a multimedia modi- artist. I canvas paint, body paint, face and body paint, make jewelry, um, I write. So it can be a myriad of things. I can see someone's ring and want to do a face paint from the colors in that ring. I could see, you know, somebody will say something and it'll give me an idea for a canvas paint painting. So, Give me an example. What could someone say that would have you want to paint something? Hmm. Um, one of my favorite quotes someone said to me was, "If you wanna, um, if you wanna hear God laugh, tell him your plans." Mm. <laughs> and what did you paint? So for I ended up painting. It, it was odd because I ended up painting just a bunch of wildflowers oh. on a canvas, and it was pretty interesting. <laughs> But it was a lot of sunflowers because to me, you know, sunflowers light up a room or light up a space no matter what's there. And to me, that's God. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I like that. I like that. So tell us about Antioch. Oh, Antioch University of L.A. You just graduated? Yes, ma'am. With a master's in fine art and creative writing. Um, my specific genre is poetry. And, uh... It's one of the best places, <laughs> this side of creation. Uh, very, I call it like a colony of artists, if you will, <laughs> but mm-hmm. we pay to be there. Um, just very warm, welcoming, very diverse. And um, it showed me the other side of writing. Like what? Um, as far as different, because I, you know, I was, I won't say raised. I was nurtured in my early years in writing as, as, with um, spoken word. So that's a whole different culture in itself. So seeing the other side of writing as far as, you know, doing readings, you know, um, workshopping in a different manner than how it would be done in a spoken word workshop. Uh, just seeing alternative ways to do things. Um, it was just very enlightening. I feel kind of well-rounded now as far as critiquing and workshopping and performing goes. So what do you take away from Antioch? Mm, be authentically you. Um, and be okay with that. That was my biggest thing, being okay with being myself. What's authentically Cayetana? Authentically Cayetana? Oh, <laughs> that's a loaded so question. So if you're driving down the street... Mm-hmm. And, okay, I'm driving down the street, Mm -hmm. and I see a painting or some face painting, or I hear poetry on the radio, Mm -hmm. and it's yours. Mm -hmm. What has me mark it as authentically Cayetana's? Mm. I would, maybe because you... I would, I've heard a lot that you feel the passion in my work. You see mm-hmm. the passion in my work. Yeah. It's a distinct style to my work. I have not quite identified that, but everybody else see it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is true. You know, so I, I, I don't like creating anything if I don't have a sense of passion, if you will. I, I, I don't do things just to crank stuff out, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I... I have to see it in my mind. I have to I get a kind of warm fuzzy, I call it. <laughs> Can you talk about the style of your painting? Like, your painting is very... is. I could pick out your work from anybody's. My style of painting, I, I like a lot of abstract mixed with... Color. Yeah, very... <laughs> I am a color freak. Love, love, love color. Um... I can go abstract, but then I have to have some type of pristine, clean line somewhere, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, it's kind of like, 
it, I call it tiptoeing outside my comfort zone, <laughs> mm -hmm. if you will. Um, yeah, kind of abstract, clean. I love it. Thing. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you.